Hi, Cindy. This is Dr. Kate. Just giving you a call. Um, wanted to give you a call back. I know we were kind of looking for some more information on Ben. Um, you know, his his last blood work is normal. His He's not diabetic. Um, his fructosamine was normal. So the glucose, elevated glucose levels in the blood and elevated glucose levels in the urine are likely just due to prolonged stress. <clears throat> so a stress hyperglycemia, um, which can happen when it's, you know, been a prolonged response for them. Um, so I'm glad that that's not the case. Um, Otherwise, our urinalysis and our culture came back negative, so we don't have to worry about a urinary tract infection. Um, you know, the problem is while our blood work is improving with Ben, clinically he doesn't look like he's improving. So, you know, he's staying really calm and quiet in the kennel. He doesn't really want to eat for us. He actually won't eat for us. Um, you know, we're still too feeding him. Um, you know, and after Ben here for 20 days, it's a little concerning that he's not making that turnaround. So, um, you know, I'm wondering if he just needs a little bit more, like, one-on-one -on -one attention to be out of the clinic, you know, back in a, a home with someone that's given him cuddles more frequently during the day and, you know, just less stressful environment for him. Um, so what I'm thinking is if we can find a good... Um, you know, foster for him, then he can go home and you guys can keep giving him his medications. I mean, he hasn't been on fluids, so there's no reason why I couldn't go home and you guys can do all of the treatments at home. Um, but, um, but yeah, so give me a call with further questions. Um, I will be here till 10. So I'm here for another hour if you happen to get this. Um, but basically, that lab work is turning around, so there's no reason for him to not be feeling well, but he's still not feeling well, which I don't love. Okay? Um, 562-274-7776. Thanks so much, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.